In this lesson, I'll show you how to answer common questions related to the unit circle. Question one reads, determine the missing coordinate and give the quadrant in which the point is located. So we have a point that's along the unit circle and we have the x-coordinate being negative one over eight. We need to find the y-coordinate. To do this, given that a unit circle is a circle, it follows the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to one. So by substituting negative one over eight into x, we can start to solve for y. Let's substitute negative one over eight into here. We have negative one over eight raised to the power of two plus y squared is equal to one. Without evaluating this part, I will solve for y first. To solve for y, I'll take this term over to the right side, and I have y squared on the left side is equal to one minus negative one over eight raised to the power of two. I'll use my calculator to evaluate the right side. One minus bracket negative one over eight, raise that to the power of two, and that gives me 63 over 64. So y squared is equal to 63 over 64. I'm not done yet, I need to square root both sides. And when you square root both sides, you end up with a plus minus outcome. So just keep that in mind. We have plus minus whatever that is. I'll distribute the square root to the top where I have the square root of 63 over the square root of 64 is eight. The square root of 63, remember 63 can be broken down into its factors, nine and seven. Nine is a perfect square. It becomes three. The square root of seven is not a perfect square so we just leave it and we have that over eight. Now think about this for a moment. Our x coordinate is negative one over eight. So if we take a look at an xy plane, the negatives occur this way. This means that the y coordinate can either be positive or negative, so we can accept both the positive and negative version as possible y coordinates when the x coordinate is negative one over eight. In question number two, verify that the point given these coordinates lies on the graph of the unit circle. Then use symmetry to find three other points that also lie on the unit circle. Okay, first we verify by substituting this coordinate into x and that coordinate into y. So rather than doing the math, I know that it will equal to one. One thing that you should remember when it comes to the unit circle is that for any point a, b, let's say, Symmetry can be used to locate three more points. So we already know one of the points. Using the schematic that you see on your right, we can say that a second point will be negative one over eight and positive three times the square root of seven over eight. In addition, we can make that positive where I have one over eight and keep the y coordinate as negative, three times the square root of seven over eight so that makes our third point and our final point can be positive one over eight and the positive y coordinate, three times the square root of seven over eight. So that accounts for the four points. Finally, in question three, if we have the point shown right here and it is located on a unit circle corresponding to a real number t, find the values of six trigonometric functions of t. The six trigonometric functions are sine, cosine, tangent, and the reciprocal versions of each. The reciprocal of this is secant, cosecant, and cotangent. So let's try to make sense of this question. If we were to put this on a xy plane, this point, where this is our xy plane, y and x, and I were to plot this point negative a quarter and whatever that comes out equaling. Negative a quarter is this way and given that this y coordinate is positive we would have a point let's say right here. And creating an acute triangle from this point to the origin like this will give us that as one side of the triangle being the square root of 15 over 4 and this part right here being negative 0 0.25. Now what they're saying is that they want us to use these trigonometric functions that correspond 
to the following configuration. So for sine, and they want us to use the letter T. So sine T, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 15 over 4 divided by the hypotenuse, and we would need to find the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. Therefore, if you were to use the Pythagorean theorem, you would find out that the hypotenuse is 1. So that's opposite over 1. The answer is the square root of 15 over 4. And you would repeat this for all of them. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is negative 0 0.25 over 1. So you'd write down negative 1 over 4. Finally, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So this number over negative a quarter. Let me write that down. And this leads us to negative the square root of 15. Now to find these ones, all you do is flip this around. You get 4 over the square root of 15 for cosecant. For secant, you get negative 4. And for cotangent, you get 1 over the square root of 15 and make sure that it's negative. And so there you have it. That is how to answer questions involving the unit circle.